What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Seth, and we are back again with some more Spyro Reignited. And oh my goodness gracious, we're going to oh, Nasty guys, Norks Spyro. level! I hope you know what lies in store for you. I don't. Nasty's world is not the friendliest place you'll ever find. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Let's just go there. So as we end up continuing to the final area of the game, uh, in between these episodes, I kind of keep stopping and chatting with people uh, on Twitch because I'm actually doing this as a live stream slash recording so while i'm actually recording these episodes i'm not responding to the chat but i do still see their messages and sometimes they give me helpful tips and stuff like that uh which is really cool i actually really like this way of recording it kind of feels a lot more organic to me and also gives you guys the benefit if you want to see these videos live uncut well before they end up making it onto the youtube channel fully edited and produced of course uh you can actually sub to me to twitch prime for absolutely free or join my youtube channel with the sponsor button uh or join button down below anyways this is nasty norx level which uh oh oh i kind of remember this I forget whether or not these levels are like really challenging or something. Yeah, they kind of force you to go through them in a natural progression uh, type of way where you have to beat the previous level in order to get to the other level. And then I think if I'm not mistaken, I, I could be dead wrong about this, uh, but this one right here, I think in order to get to that area, either you beat the last boss or you have to get like the 120%. I want to stay here. Leave me alone. I'm trying to just get that last jewel. But I don't know. We'll see, man. We'll see. This is uh, pretty intimidating. Delbin. Who's this guy? Oh. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon that must defeat him. Bring him on. I'm <laughs> ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. His species is a Nork? Uh, yeah, so that guy's like a, an ancient artist, uh, an artisan, if you will. He is actually the original reptilian uh, dragon overlord who ended up creating ladders. So uh, his art, like his actual paintings, they sucked. They, they, they sold for uh, two jewels a pop, which in uh, human currency, of course, would be like $100 million because uh, humans <laughs> pay for money. I eat paper for breakfast. So, technically, because this is uh, just a linear level progression, it does mean that we don't have to bother trying to get 100% at all. Donkey Kong Country! Wee! I like this! Ah! Ah! I will defeat all of you! Brum! <laughs> This is actually really cool. This is really fun. It makes me feel powerful. Was that a secret around the corner? No, it was not. Oh my gosh. TNT! This really is Donkey Kong Country, dude! Oh, it must have taken influence from it. Woo! It's so cool! I love it! Take this, stupid head! Wait a minute. Excuse me. What the? Oh, now he's just scratching his tum-tum. Have another peril to the face. I love how they're construction workers. Like... What is this? Gnasty Nork, of course, he is like the sense of industry. Uh, the Norks are actually um, ancestors of frogs and human beings because, you know, you guys are amphibians, right? I myself am uh, a reptile uh, just in human skin. But all of these creatures right here that you guys are seeing, these are Merc. Uh, these are his ancestors, um, which this is kind of sa uh, a sad truth of his ancestry, ow, is that uh, my ancestors were always at war with his species. And I'm happy to say that we've we've come out on top. Merc is one of the weakest uh, of the froglings that I've ever seen. That's why he listens to work, me, the reptilian Spyro. overlord. Really starting to worry about you. Okay, then Yada. I remember that guy. We saved him already. Like, that's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah. So, just just, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a history lesson there. About, uh, you know, what's going on with the ancient war. Uh, now it's gotten... Oh, gosh. What? Really? He just destroyed himself. Or is that because I set it on fire? 
Uh, but the current turn of events is there is a war between, uh, I am an exiled reptilian, and then there is the frogs and turtles. Turtles not really, we kind of act like they're a part of the ancient uh, reptile uh, war, but they're, they're not really, they're kind of an embarrassment. Even, even the frogs put up more of a fight than they do. I probably could have jumped up there, but I'll check that out in a second. This is so cool though. I love these old school games having like the levels be weird industry stuff, you know? Ooh, extra man. Get out of that shell. You delicious, oh man, poor Ratatouille. Like, what are they doing in here? Oh gosh, ooh. Okay, uh, I wanna, I wanna double check. I'm pretty sure that we can get on top of the ship here if I'm not mistaken, right? Can we make this jump? Maybe we can't. Yeah. Oh, it's barriers. Well then. I was right that we could have made it up, but it just didn't let us. What are you? Whoa! He took a swing at me! Blonk! Take that, you fool. What is this? Ah, this will be a chest that we gotta hurl that barrel at. Okay. That'll be a bit tricky! I should have flown! Ah! What was happening there, man? That was weird! Take this! Take my frustration out of you! What am I supposed to do here? My poor dragonfly. Oh, Donkey Kong Country, I see. Whoop! There you go, you foolish, dumb amphibian frog monster. I don't like doing this stuff so close to the edges. At least they have so many rats around to give us food. And I shouldn't technically even be going for this stuff because it's not like we're going for 100%, but I still want to just because, I mean, it's there, you know, why not? This is so cool though, it's so strange. Like you wouldn't think that this is like the last area in the game where it's like water and kind of beautiful in a way, but it's all these like pirate ships and stuff. This was something that was very common in uh, end game levels back in the day. So it's it, it kind of makes sense. Take that, you fool. I love the way that we fight these guys though. It's actually really cool. You think that, yeah, man. Okay, fine. Blonk, double whammy. <laughs> I love that they hold it on their chest and that blows up all their armor. That's so cool. Oh, who's this? Ah, uh, Thomas, he's uh, my long lost twin brother. Wow. Not a twin. I thought I'd be rescued, especially by such a little dragon. Yeah. Uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro. You this guy. Believe. <laughs> what? This guy was born like literally two seconds before me, and he always like kind of makes me like reminds me about it. He's always you know talking about like how he's like better than me and stuff, and never really believed in me. But that's okay, cause I believe in myself. Don't care what they say. We. Oh my gosh, this these levels just give us non-stop money, dude. Domino's effect. Yeah. That was cool. I liked that a lot. Okay, boys. Blonk. Bah. 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 <laughs> I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. What the? Oh my gosh, really? Uh -huh. Those fireworks, give me all of that stuff. Ah! I knew I would accidentally defeat myself with that thing. So what's the point? Can this? Whoa, that can destroy a key chest? That's interesting. I didn't know that would actually do that, dude. That's pretty cool. Okay, so there is a lot of different crossroads here. I'm not really digging it. Blonk! Really? Wait, what? <laughs> Take that, you invincible freak. Okay, let's, uh, whoop! That was a close one. We're getting so much money, dude. That was a close one! Jeez Louise. Almost got absolutely destroyed. Ah, gotcha. Oh man, there was like another pathway. Clearly this was the right way. I kind of want to go back down. 
just so that we can see what we missed. Can I not go backwards? Oh, we can, we can. It's just a little bit tricky. It's okay, we got it. But there was stuff over here, right? Yeah, so there's more chests and then that's it. <laughs> All we're doing is just getting more money. Well, anyways, get out of the way, Ratatouille. Go back to Disney movies. <laughs> that was rude of me. I'm sorry. That's why I almost fell off the edge because Spyro's like, hey, I want to be in a Disney movie. That would actually be really cool if Pixar made like a Disney movie of uh, this dragon. But he's kind of, he's kind of a rebel. That's why I like him. I, I really relate to Spyro. He was actually uh, my ancient grandfather. So I am a descendant of greatness. As, as you can clearly tell. Oh my gosh, okay. Twilight Harbor. All right, I guess we'll check this one out next because we still got enough time. Whoo, these levels though, dude. Not only difficult, but uh, they're a lot longer. Like at the beginning of the game, the levels were very short and sweet. Uh, I feel that it's, like it's really nice that this last area only has a handful of levels. So they can kind of just, you know, make it more of a challenging experience, but they're, they're still short and sweet. It's just, get out of here, heavy gunner. Go back to Team Fortress 2. I said go back to Team Fortress 2. What the? Man, that guy was cool. Uh, <laughs> I actually really liked that guy. Did you see his animation? He was such an idiot. He like came out, did a fancy like spin, and then he was gonna like throw a barrel down at me. He's like, Max Gaming 45, you know, he's doing like a tip of the hat and throwing it at us like a magician. Such a fool. Whoa! Blonk! Get out of my way. It's so cool, like I still... Wah! Splatoon! Ha! It's still so cool though. I know I just keep saying this, but I love the attention to detail, the production. This was something that was uh, a big selling point in the original game too how every level had like unique enemies and just a unique feel to it. You know what I mean? Ow! Like they were all, they were all unique and special, which was really cool and still holds up today. Cause it's like, you're never really fighting the same enemies twice. Cosmos, oh man. He's uh, my second father, my stepdad. Me. What did he just say? He's from ancient birth, so he doesn't really uh, make much sense. Oh, dude, look at that guy. Is that what he does? He just does the same thing. I love how he's kind of like a punk too. The animations are so cool. Like, seriously, uh, how do we actually open that chest? I don't know. I don't know, dude. Oh, dude, this is like Mario. Whoa! Get out of here, Splatoon man. Whoa, that was a close one. What? Well, at least we dodged his attack, but uh, now we know those guys are actually considered big, tall enemies where we can't, uh, we can't ram into them. We got to actually uh, set them on fire. That's another thing that was so cool about this game. Like, I, I don't know about the Ari Spyro games, but this one's like so simple. Huh? Why would we do this? Oh, I see. Is that? Ah, okay. So we can get a super ramp or something. Um, but the game's so simple in that you're either just setting things on fire or ramming into them. Cletus! Good old Uncle Cletus! Be on the lookout for North Commando, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me. Was that like Bender's voice? I think it was actually like the Bender voice actor, dude. Wah! I'm so good at this game! Wee! That was actually really lucky. I do not put that to skill. I would just say that that was just luck. So I'm gonna try and go backwards here because I'm assuming that this is the treasure. You know, where's the other way? Was that something? No. Where's the other way was probably the right way. But man alive, these levels. I keep on thinking that we're getting to the boss too, but not yet. Aw, oh, man. Are you kidding me? That's gonna be so difficult. Ow. So what we gotta do is we gotta ramp out onto that middle platform and then go over there and ram into the chest. Yikes, dude. Not looking forward to that, but let's just try it. Oh boy. This is gonna be so tricky, dude. 
This is one of the harder jumps in the game as far as I recall. But they really like these uh, ramps and stuff, so we jump! Jump! Oh, mess it up. Mess it up. I wanted to, like, I, the control kind of got a little bit sticky with that. Because otherwise I wanted to, like, the, the thing that kind of sucked is we have to stop our momentum in order to actually grab the jewels that are up there as well. Just so that we can, and, and then we gotta ram it again. So it's like, we gotta do this like a total of three times if I would stop messing it up. So let's go again. Okay, we're good, we're good. That was not good. I don't know why sometimes he just makes it and then other times he just does not, like whatever. Somehow we saved it though and actually kept our health. Like, geez louise, but, uh, yep. If I keep failing on this jump a little too many times, though, guys, don't worry. I'll make a cut in the video. Uh, but I do want to try and show the attempt just so that we can get this legit. Technically, once again, we don't need to get this. Huh. Ah, there we go. That was close. We almost actually rammed right into the wall. And, uh, then we would have just missed the chest entirely. Now, there are still those jewels up there. So we'll try and get those real quick as well. Kind of annoying. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, I don't know if we even need to get like the entire ramp, honestly speaking. I, I think we could just start like maybe at a halfway point. Or maybe not, because we get like the times two of the uh, jump. Okay, there we go. Hey, look at that. There was actually a blue one over here that I missed completely as well. And then I think up in that top area, was there a chest? Like a metal chest? Oh well. You know what? Let's just keep moving. I think there was a chest like right on top of us right now in that small room. I kind of want to... I guess we'll just go check it out. Why not? Whoa, ho, 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 ho. I'm probably dead wrong about it too. Maybe we could just glide over there, but that's okay. Is the game boring yet? Watching me do the same jump over and over again? Ah! There it is. What was that? That was a weird... Oh, it's just gears. That totally tricked me. It's like a weird artifact coming through the floor. Fix that. Get that out of the game. That's disgusting. Anyways, we can finally continue. What was over here? Oh, yeah, just more jewels. Okay. Okay. We're good. Here we go. Get out of here. And then... Oh, I saw that coming. There we go. That's a little guy. So we're good. There's also lots of rats on this level. So we should be, we should hopefully be doing good on health, right? Is there another one? Really? Whoa! Ah, dang it, man. These guys. Oh, I'm at one hit. Oh, I'm at one hit. Okay. Okay. This is, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. That was the game's fault. That was the game's fault. The controls are... Well, they're like I remember. But it's a little bit too... Like, the joystick's a bit too sensitive for certain things. I mean, honestly speaking, I'm pretty sure back in the day, you would play this game with... Uh... Okay. Can you just go? I think you would play this game with uh, D-pad, if I'm not mistaken. This is a great checkpoint, by the way. Like, thanks for throwing me in an area that I have to defeat, like, virtually every single enemy all over again. Okay! Good! Good! I'm glad! Man, a lot. This part sucks, dude. Like, are you kidding me? Alright, so help me. He's gonna do his explosive attack. I don't care. Alright! I got you. No, 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 no. I got it. I got it. No! Spyro, you idiot! No! Stupid game! <laughs> oh. I love and hate this game at the same time. That's such bad design. Like, it's the camera's fault, most of all, because it's like, you can't see what's being thrown at you, you know? I'm also getting really impatient now, so now I'm just gonna start getting really bad. But so help me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this stupid game. 
Okay. Let's do it speedrunner style. Let's do it speedrunner style. I'm not even gonna bother. Okay. Here we go. This is it now. This is it now. No, just go. No, just go. Just go. Stop ruining my momentum. Get up and stop getting stung locked. This game sucks. I love it. So good. <sighs> okay, watch this. Here, I'll time it perfectly. Ah, you know what? Let's do speed run tactics, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Get Rex game. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, 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 no! Are you kidding me? There of all places! Oh my gosh! Oh, this game. Oh. Zero out of five. This game sucks. No, it's a beautiful game. It really is. But oh my goodness gracious. Are you kidding me? I kind of want to do this as a personal challenge. That's the thing too. Like I shouldn't be. Can you just breathe fire? You're a dragon. Like, come on. I say that I've come from greatness. Apparently not. Apparently my ancestor was an absolute moron and couldn't uh, breathe fire on an enemy right beside him. There, done. That level sucked. Man alive. I mean, the difficult thing too is trying to do it while recording makes it a lot more difficult. So those of you freaks out there that got in your first try, shh. Try doing it while talking with people watching you. That's my excuse. No, wait, I mean my controller messed up. Yeah, totally. No, that was um, that was frustrating, but that was, I'm fine with that actually. That was fine. Frustrating in the moment, but I still really love the sense of challenge in this game. I actually really genuinely enjoyed it. Like even that, even that level of difficulty, that was, that was fun. Okay, so uh, I don't know if we necessarily have time, but I guess Nasty Nork is the last level, and then, yeah, that must be for getting 100%. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? You think we should just have a final, like, longer... Yeah, because then we can do all of Nasty Nork's level. Let's just do it. Let's have a longer episode today. Let's finish it. Let's get it done. Let's do it. I am dreading this boss. I hope that he's not as difficult as I remember in my childhood. Because, if I'm not mistaken, this guy is really, really tough. But so help me. Let's do it. Let's get it done today. Uh, and then just because this is going to be the final episode, if you guys are just tuning into this one and skipped over the other ones, uh, I am probably going to do Spyro 2 and 3 eventually. I don't know if I'm going to do them right away. Depends. I'm definitely going to take a little bit of a break from the game first. Though. Oh, gosh. Oh! He's got Thor's hammer. I forgot about that. Give me all the jewels. Oh, my gosh. That's Merc's ancient, hello, uh, oh, hi, Ganasty. That's uh, Merc's, like, ancient relative. Oh, gosh! He's got the hammer of Amansul. That's an ancient draconic hammer that he stole from my my hero, uh, Thaddeus the White. Hey, give me that key! I don't know who you are or what you're doing with that thing. What? Where are we going? I like how I'm just going in like completely blind, like and expecting to win. Like what is even happening right now? Okay. Okay, what the okay, it's way too dark. I almost had him. I almost had him. This rock music is really it's pumping. It's getting me excited. Oh come on, he doesn't stop when he gets down to the bottom. Come on. Really? I'm not fast enough, man! You're not fast enough, Spyro! You're not fast enough! Catch him! Catch him, Spyro! Come on, man! Use those dragon legs! Yeah! Take that, you fool. I don't know what I'm using this key on. His platform! Aha! His plat- Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, like, what was that? I was certain that we were supposed to use the key there. What was that, man? 
Don't tell me I gotta get it again. Seriously? I just got it! Extra lives are supposed to give you the key. It did it in all the other levels, man. That's not fun. That's not fair. Oh, that's so stupid. There you go, dum-dum. Okay. So, now what? Did I mess it up? Do I gotta do it here? Do I gotta stand in the middle? What, what, what am I supposed to do here, man? There must have been something I missed over here. I'm gonna go in here and actually like look around, see if uh, see if there's something around. Ooh, extra gems. And then, oh, we could have taken this darker path to cut the guy off. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Mark's telling me that there's a room in the main hall that I'm supposed to use the key on. Oh, there it is. It's just so dark. Like the contrast is just so dark in this map that I can't tell what's going on. Oh gosh. Okay. It's so dark! It's so dark, man! I can't resist the jewels. <laughs> Seriously, I can't see anything, man. Like, light up the game! There you go, you fool. Okay, let's go through this. Oh gosh, the fact that we have to do all of this on one life, too, is dreadful. Because if we end up like falling in the lava or anything, we're just done for and got to repeat the whole uh, section. Okay, so is this the platform now? Ah, there you go. Okay, dummy. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, man. I'm coming for you. I can't see anything. No! I can't see anything, man. I'm so glad in the remastered version that they kept the bad camera angles, dude. I'm so happy for that. I'm thrilled. Oh. Repeat the whole process. Wow. Okay, so help me. If I fall by that same platform, I am going to be so triggered, dude. I'm going to just follow the big man. Just follow the big man. Be careful. Watch where we're going. That's the important thing. Because, oh man. Oh, jeez. He's just outrunning me. He doesn't even care. He's just going. <laughs> what? What am I supposed to do? I'm not gonna chase him. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna chase him. Not at 100. percent I just gotta get the lay of the land first, dude. This is pretty, uh, pretty brutal, though. Is that it? He just waits at the end. Okay. Well, this is gonna suck. Let's do it. I'm guessing we just gotta like make no mistakes and just go for it. Okay, down, left. Oh, jeez. Ah! Okay, hard right as far as I recall. Yeah, and then hard left. Stay on the right. And then it's a right all the way around. Oh, that was a close one. Oh, that was a close one. Um. Um. Game broken, confirmed. <laughs> What was that? Like, I caught him. I caught him. You all saw it. Like, what was that? Why didn't that work? He really is ganasty. He's a ganasty cheater. Like, dude, that's not cool. So help me. You're going down, big boy. Let's do the same thing again. Oh, now we did have to just set him on fire. Okay, I mean, I literally just did that, but whatever. Oh gosh, we gotta do all this on one life. Oh gosh, this is why I remember as a kid. This is why I remember. Yeah, this is why I remember. Oh gosh, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Oh gosh, trying to control both joysticks at the same time is not fun for me. Did we get him? Did we win? I think we did. Oh! Oh! How? I like how, like, on the hardest part, I get it. Oh! Jeez, Louise. Sorry, I took so long. Almost forgot about you guys. Huh? Nasty Nork is toast.
So oh yeah, he's talking to the TV crew. Order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to find. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. Is that Spiral Reignite Trilogy? Because I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's the final level uh, or like roaming around the map now. Like we unlocked flying somewhere. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. Did we unlock flying in every level? Because that'd be pretty cool. That would make it a lot easier to actually go and collect all the treasure. But I don't, I don't remember. I just remember that there's just flying involved somewhere. But either way, absolutely awesome game, dude. Seriously. Really, really awesome. Like, I'm really happy that this team has been doing this stuff. You know, they ended up uh, remaking the Crash Bandicoot games and they did kind of the same thing where they released the game with a small price tag and then you could play through uh, all the different three Crash games, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I ended up actually buying that game for my girlfriend because she grew up with those games, whereas I ended up growing up with Spyro, but more so I ended up growing up with Spyro 1. Now, it's so awesome that they have Spyro 2 and 3, and uh, eventually I will play through those, but I'm not going to play through them right now. It'll probably be a little bit. Maybe we'll take a little bit of a break before we get to the other ones. But um, the next game that these guys are working on making a remake of is going to come out in 2019. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. It seems like it might honestly be almost done. Uh, but Medieval. So that's another game that is absolutely from my childhood. Uh, I actually ended up playing through it as an adult. Uh, I ended up getting to a certain point and then the game glitched out and I couldn't finish it. But I'm really excited about it because it's very similar to this one where it's got a very high level of difficulty, but that one's more of a beat em up slash RPG where you're going through levels, collecting treasure, and then you can spend it on upgrading weapons and everything like that. So that should be uh, really fun for me whenever that ends up coming out. Uh, we might end up starting Spyro 2 and 3 before then. Now, the thing that I've said throughout this entire series is that Spyro 2 and 3, they don't hold any nostalgic value for me. I didn't play those games growing up, uh, but I know that a lot of you guys did. So that's why I am definitely going to play through those. I just don't know when. So until then, uh, I think we're going to call it here. And if there's anything at the end, uh, actually, it says special thanks. So the credits might almost be over. Unless do they let me skip this? Oh, they do! Awesome! Okay, so let's take a peek at the end here before uh, before we uh, call it for this series. Because I'm really curious to see what we ended up actually unlocking. And I, I know I didn't go for 100%. I probably should have just because it's like, oh, you know, we got really, really close to it. There was only a couple gems missing. What the... Hello? Magnus! What are you doing here, man? Ugh. Nasty's ancient history now. So what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. Okay. The gate will only open if you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. Yikes. Well, that's all dragons, I think. Anyways, uh, let's check the guidebook. I want to see. Let's go all the way to the beginning. Ugh. Oh my gosh. And then, yeah, the flying levels. That's the big reason why I don't want to actually do this. But uh, either way, that's still pretty cool. Very awesome game. Really, really happy that I got to play through it. And uh, yeah, I guess that's going to do it for this Let's Play series, everybody. So thanks for watching. Very much appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, end up doing kind of similar things in the future with my Let's Plays from now on, I think, where you'll have the opportunity of seeing the entire series early if you're uh, you know, a member on YouTube or sub to me on Twitch. Uh, but for those of you that, you know, just want to see the videos in their full production, of course, they're going to take a little bit longer to come out just because of that. But in either case, thanks for watching. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, sub, hit that notification bell. And if you want to support me, there's always links down below for uh, my merch, my real life merch, uh, as well as a link to Gawkbox, which is where you can donate to me for free by just playing some phone games for a little bit. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sign on and stay epic.